you know, so many times I, I, I get people that they, they're totally crisscrossed in their mind. They're like, I just want something that's easy, right? I just want something that's gonna work. And, you know, it's a totally backwards way of thinking. Like, honestly, the best things I've ever done for my business, the most successful things I've ever done have come through some of the hardest things that I've ever done and some of the most difficult things. I mean, if you think about it, like, um, sometimes I think about the gym, like working out, right? I mean, if it's like, oh, I wanna lose a couple, you know, 100 pounds, but I want it to be easy, it's never gonna be easy. And one thing that is not easy and never really gets done, right? Never really gets finished is when you think about looking at tax services, accounting services, and you're thinking about the marketing, it is never going to be easy. However, the, the way I sort of shift my mind in thinking about it is like, okay, well, how can I get this thing that I have to do, right? Because I have to do marketing, I have to get appointments, I have to get leads. How do I get that thing to get done, but to be something that is so exciting to me, is so interesting to me, that when I end up doing it, like it's worth the fact that it was so hard and blah, 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 blah. like it's worth it to get to that point. And one of the biggest things I always ask people, like I just asked the guy today, I said, well, okay, you're 42 years old. How big do you want this business to be between 42 and 65? Like how big do you want that business to be? He said, well, you know, I want to get to 500,000 as quickly as possible. He's at like 150. And I'm like, okay, well, what about between now and the time you're 62? He's like, well, I, I, I really want to do like 5 million in sales, okay? In my mind, I'm thinking, okay, does a $5 million business owner get scared about marketing? Does a $5 million business owner think, oh, marketing's not for me. I can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. Does a $5 million, $5, million, $5 million business owner, when you're somebody that's 150, you have to kind of in your mind act like you're a $5 million business owner. Not, don't be cocky, right? But what would that $5 million business owner say? Would they say, oh, I can't do that. I don't know if it's possible. I don't think, or I'm not good at that, or I can't take that on. No, a $5 million business owner would say, okay, well, whatever needs to get done, I will learn how to do. You know, a lot of these people out there think, I want it to be easy, and if it's not easy, I can just outsource it. It's like, really, how many people do you know that had a $150,000 business and then just outsource? Okay, I just, I hired a marketing agency, and then all of a sudden, boom, I just did five million a year in sales. I'm still waiting for somebody to introduce me to that person, right? Because the reality of it is, and this is the reason why we stopped just doing marketing years ago. We used to help people with marketing and sales. We did it on a, you know, a market, like a marketing agency at one point. We did it for training. The problem is, okay, fine. They help you get leads, but guess what? You suck at sales. Okay. Okay. You, you're great at sales. You're closing everybody up. Oh, your pricing sucks. Okay. You're great at pricing. You're great at sales, but you can't deliver. You can't fulfill. And then you can't keep clients. You can't get them to charge more year over year. It's a bigger business problem, right? And so this is a cool little chart sometimes that I show because when it comes to marketing like you want to organize your marketing one of the best things we do is help people market for free tax assessments right so business owner comes in they sit down and you figure okay 2019 i estimate you overpaid this much 2020 i would estimate you overpaid this much and 2021 i estimate you overpaid this much and we try to go for people that are making at least a couple hundred thousand dollars of income but it's not always possible i'm going to show you this chart which is really cool that when i first figured this out doing marketing it really changed the game for me because i used to think oh like you know I basically have to have somebody that's good. If I don't have somebody that's big, then I can't sell them anything. Now I just think, well, why don't we offer the person the thing that they need for their size and the size of the, the, the type of business that they have? And so if you take a look at this, I'm just gonna show you this for a second here. If you take a look at this, this is what I would call a marketing qualified lead in the tax and accounting industry. And you can see over here, when I look at these sections here, I look at revenue, I look at income, I look at investable assets. And I've got these different tiers here in terms of how big they need to be in terms of their revenue, how big they need to be in income, and how big they need to be in terms of investable assets, okay? And then based on that, okay, what's the cost to acquire that client? How willing are they to pay for advisory services? What am I going to charge them in the first year that they're working with me? What's the lifetime value of that client? And what services specifically would I offer them? You've got to have a plan for this, right? Because sometimes, like, well, I talked to the guy and he's only doing $70,000 a year. And so I can't sell him baloney, mahoney. What is his target for this year? What are his projections? They're always pricing based on the projections, okay? So look, marketing is hard. It's not easy. It's fun. It can be fun. But I can tell you that, you know, if, if there's not that front of the funnel thing, it's like literally you have an organism, which is your business. If there's no food, if there's no leads, if there is no actual people coming through, this sucker's not going to grow. And when I see people that just want to outsource it and think that, oh, I can outsource it for, you know, a couple thousand bucks a month, okay, and then I'm 150000 or 500000 I'm just going to go to $5 because I'm a business owner. Doesn't everybody always say to outsource? Look, you let me know. You let me know the case study. I'd love to see it. You reach out to me. Shoot me an email. 
I'll, I'll freaking put you on a big, you know, video camera. We'll get in there and talk if you went from 150,000 to 5 million in sales because of a marketing agency, right? These kind of transformations to do five times more, to do 10 times more, to do 20 times more, to do 30 times more, it's bigger than just one thing. Because when that one thing starts working, even if that marketing agency did work, there's so many other problems down the line. And so, you know, we help with marketing and lead generation. We help with conversion and, and sales and pricing and packaging. We help with onboarding and showing the value on a go for basis, upselling clients, repackaging them, renegotiating them. And if they want to quit, okay, well, how do you have that conversation with them? So we'll help with really full practice development. And so, you know, if you've been thinking about switching from compliance to advisory services, you think you've got to get the right type of client and think, okay, well, a starter is going to sell this. And then a small business owner, we call them a starter, small business owner, top 100. I'm going to sell them this. If you need a better quality lead and a better person to go after, and you know exactly what service to offer them, I put a uh, link below this video here with an application to fill out. You'll be able to meet with me, my team, and we'll kind of walk through the whole process that we go through. Client acquisition, conversion, retention, expansion, operations. We'll go through the whole thing and show you what we do. And even if you decide not to work with us, you'll have access to all the stuff that we do and you'll be able to see exactly how it works. And hey, if you want to end up doing it with us, we'll make you an offer. But I filled out the application. I put an application right below this video, fill that out, and the call will be probably about an hour, sometimes 90 minutes, over 300 slides of all the things that we do. And so it's... It's like whenever somebody meets with us in the past, we used to just talk to them. Now we put together like a really deep value presentation that even if you just walk away with that, it's like watching a movie on like what's specifically wrong with your business and what you can do to change it. So would highly recommend you check it out, the application below, and I will see you on the other side.